we welcome in the year of the rabbit, many want to ensure prosperity and good luck by eating the proper Chinese dishes. A popular one that's supposed to bring good luck for Lunar New Year is a traditional Chinese steamed rice cake called Gao. And the culinary arts program at Leeward Community College is going to show us how to make it. Welcome Chef Lee Allen Dung and student Darian Talia. Thank you for joining us, guys. Hi. Thank Hi. you for having us. Okay, for those who haven't tried Gao Chef, how would you describe the taste? Um, I would say not too sweet. Um, what, is, what is the Filipino um, mochi rice dish? Uh, maybe uh, babinka? Babinka, yeah. Yeah, okay. So just think of that. It's basically that rice pounded into a powder and mixed with the brown sugar. Okay, and it's supposed to bring good luck. So what are the ingredients, Chef, that we're going to need? Okay, everybody, um, you know, thinks gao is kind of intimidating. It only takes two to three ingredients. Um, you need mochiko. We have uh, Chinese brown sugar. It's called wangtong. You can find it anywhere in Chinatown. Um, you can substitute brown sugar, uh, but I guess this is more authentic. Um, <laughs> Gotta go with authentic when better, you're making gao. Better luck. Yeah. Better luck for Chinese New Year. <laughs> hey, you heard it from him. <laughs> All right. So let's get to it then. So okay. it's, it, it seems fairly simple. Yep. So what, you, uh, what Darren's going to do, he's just going to um, put the whole box of mochiko into the mixing bowl. Basically, you would take the wong tong and melt it down with three cups of water. And that's what we have over here. Okay. So this is the... Uh, this is the brown sugar. molten brown sugar because it looks like a broth. Yeah. It's, okay. It's, uh, just just brown sugar. Brown sugar melted down with three cups of water. Sorry, right. technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. Okay, pour that in. And um, what we wanted to, to show you was the consistency. My mom always says, you don't have to use all the water now. You don't have to use all the, the syrup. So when we pour it in, uh, we're just going to mix it to kind of like a pancake batter mix consistency, okay? So you just take that. I would start with maybe three quarters of it. Okay. So good. <laughs> mix and then so, so, Chef, from start to finish, for someone who hasn't made something like this, how long are they going to be in the kitchen for? Um, the actual making of this is basically five minutes uh, to melt and, and mix. What takes a long time is once you're done with this and you get this consistency, you're going to pour it into uh, maybe an oiled cake pan mm. and then just steam it for two and a half hours. Oh, so simple, huh? Really, really simple. And, you know, uh, once it's steamed, then I just sprinkle a little uh, sesame seeds over it and um, a lot of people like that little Chinese red date. Okay. So, Chef, as as uh, Darian is making this, can you tell us about the kind of experiences that the LCC Culinary Program offers students? Sure. Uh, you know, one, one of our strengths of our program uh, is the different kinds of experiences that we offer our students. Um, we partner with the Hawaii Food and Wine Festival every year, and they get to, uh, we either host the visiting chefs, um, you know, 10, 15 of them, um, come to our school and we'll help them uh, prep for the big galas uh -huh. and uh, the students get to work alongside them. Uh, we also uh, do uh, competitions and we have a, a big competition coming up in March which mm -hmm. is the Shane de Rotissier um, Junior Chef Competition. Um, and it's a, a national and international competition so if if the student wins, uh, which our students have the last two, two competitions, they go on to nationals on the mainland. And if they win the mainland competition, then they get to go to um, the international competition. I want to talk to Darian now for you, as you're working so hard on this. <laughs> talk to us about the experiences, some of your most memorable experiences within this program. I'm sure you love it. Uh, yeah, like, uh, even when I was in high school. Hey, you want me to take over? <laughs> I'll take over. Uh, in high school, I, before they shut it down, I did the LCC uh, scholarship brunch. And that's when I first met Chef Lee. I got to do the, um, their fruit salad for all of them. And then I was basically the guy doing the storage for all the food. Um, and then after that, I finished high school, got into LCC. 
started cooking. I loved all the clashes, especially his. His was the best. Okay, so yeah. we mix this to death, I yeah. feel like. So, so then what happens next? All you have to do is take this batter, pour it into an oil pan, steam it, and pour it, uh, take it out, and you'll get something like this. And uh, this is fresh. Yeah. Huh? So um, fresh. when it comes out, it's it's really fresh. Usually, we let it sit for a day or two before we actually cut it and um, start eating it. Okay. Good stuff. Well, thank you. This is mine, I'm sure. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. And Thanks, this is a great start to the year of the rabbit. All right. Yeah. Gina, over to you.